What's up, everybody? It's your boy. I am. Yeah, I am. Quartet. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. The culture section is proud to present unto you from going on by way of North Carolina. Put your hands together for Todd. The greatest me. Haters get your spirits. are going to hate. Can I get a witness? Get yourself together. Up in here. Up. All up in here. Welcome. Up in here. <laughs> it never really never gets old, truly. I always laugh every time I edit. It just tickles me a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to another explosive episode of the Culture Section Podcast. Don't forget to check us out on Spotify and subscribe to Fans of Culture Network YouTube channel. Quickly, I'm going to run over this quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, a couple of days ago, probably about three days ago, I read an article where this allegedly this lady named Vera Liddell, uh, she was accused of stealing over $1.5 million worth of food, primarily chicken wings. She was working as a consultant for a school district in South Suburban Cook County. Uh, she was the director of food services at Harvey School District 152 in July 2020. They said between July 2020 and February 2022, Liddell placed hundreds of unauthorized orders for food items, including 11,000 cases of chicken wings through the school district's main supplier, Gordon Food Service. The orders were placed separately from the district's legitimate orders. Uh, the massive fraud began at the height of COVID. Uh, that's pretty much it. But how how she how she got caught was they did a, a, a mid year audit and they found out that the school was over their budget by three hundred thousand dollars. Man, when I first read this, man, I laughed so hard. What was her job again? She was the director of food service. So for like the school system or just a particular school? Like for that particular school, Harvard, Illinois. That school district, 152. And so her only job was to order food. Yeah. Like she ain't working on cafeteria or nothing like that. No, it she don't just, look like she, it don't look like that. She just ordered food. Yeah. And she, what, what does she do with all this food? That's the that's the part that that's the reason why we're talking about. Cause I feel like a genius like yourself. Did she have a catering business on the side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a lot of food, man, just to be ordering. So that's over. over that's not quite two <laughs> years, but it's like almost. It's not. It's not quite two years. Yeah, July twenty. You hear how much money she spent, though? I know. I was looking at. I said. I said, man. Yo, that's almost <laughs> like you going into a place stealing Snicker bars every day. For two years, they were like, you done stole $1.5 million worth of product. I was like, man. What race was she? Oh, man, don't do that. Um, I like to play that game. I'm going to guess that she was black. <laughs> Scheming and fraud. Was she black? She was. Ding, 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 you have won the prize. <laughs> Did she not like her job? Obviously, she loved the job because she was using it to her advantage. And they still don't know what she was doing with this food, right? They don't know. I came up with some conclusions. Go right ahead, but man. I was I wasn't smart enough to write them down. But this <laughs> this is what I came up with. What good is that? Go on, man. <laughs> I know you might not even remember all the good ones. I, <laughs> I got. I said it had. You know how. You know how the the farmers are doing harvest season. I'm listening. They sell the vegetables and stuff to local restaurants. Okay. So I figured that primarily she was probably selling them, I hate to say it, to local, I would say minority restaurants, fresh foodie type people. Here's the question. When she was ordering it, where was they shipping it to? So. Was they shipping it to her house or, or the no. school? 
they shipped it to whatever that whatever that Gordon food place. They said she would show up with the van. <laughs> Are you making this up? This is true. <laughs> Okay. I was I was making it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was making this up, man. Cause it, it did. Y'all was crying tears, man. So she show up with the van. She show up with the van. So you know how like during COVID, well actually, they was what's they? I think they said they was the delivering, supposed to have been delivering food to the schools or whatever. I think they even had even to some of the students. Say the food never made it, man. It never, it never made it. So she would basically pick the food up in the school van and go and go do. That's a lot of chicken, man. Even if how often was she doing it though? Like every uh, every week, every it month. It had to be every week, man. It had to be. And I wonder. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe it was once a month. I wonder who was doing it with her though. This don't sound like a one woman's job, though, man. <laughs> this, don't, this don't sound like. Where you at when you think of this idea? <laughs> like, what point in your life are you at when you think of this idea? Yo, man, I googled it. I think, I think you you googled where was she at in the point of her life. No, nah, I grew. I think I googled how much they made. I can't. Re- I think it was up there, man. So she already was making good money. Yeah, I, I said she was greedy, or she had a drug problem. Jesus, if you got a drug problem, I just. Did, did, did you she, understand how did she have a gambling problem? Man. Uh, did she feel like she won't get what she deserved? Jeez. Or did she have like a bunch of family events and she wanted to, you know, <laughs> cater hey. to all these did she go to church? Maybe she was feeding the homeless <laughs> with his food. Maybe she worked with the stolen chicken. Yeah, the church had the so. church had, you know. You know, maybe a soup kitchen or something, and she decided to provide a service for that. So you, oh, I hear you. Oh, oh, she and think about she's it. She's saying they took from us. I'm gonna take from them. Or like did Robin she really Hood. say like Robin Hood or food services? I'm not. Maybe she said, "Well, it's really the school's money." You know, maybe I can. <laughs> Am I really stealing it though? Because it's the school's money. I'm doing my job <laughs> by ordering it. <laughs> Maybe she had planned on writing it off for the school, like use it as a tax write off or something, man. Then you say, then you say a catering business early. Yeah, I said maybe she had a catering business. Okay, man. okay. So the genius part might be is she probably sitting around with a part, and she was like, "Listen, this food truck really put us in the hole." I'm listening. We got to come up with a plan to where we can get show enough profit, and we got to get the stuff to cook. But I know I might have a plan. We can order a bunch of chicken wings from the from the, 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 the to the, use the school budget, and then we'll be one hundred percent in the clear. Is that the best you can do, man? That's the best I can do, man. Unfortunately, I'm thinking off the off the off the cuff. Listen, man. If she did this, if these was to do a good deed, oh yeah, allegedly. Let me make sure I put allegedly. Or to make money. It's only to do two things. I'm sure she won't throw on the chicken and stuff away. <laughs> it was either to make money or to do what she considers to be a good deed. Well, well, well how, how does she deal with her guilt if she felt any? I got, um, a, I got a conclusion. No, only time you feel guilt is probably maybe the first couple of times she did it. Yeah. And maybe she was a little bit scared. But when she realized that it was going smooth, the guilt was gone. It just became a routine. They routinely seen her. They knew she was the one picking it up. I mean, Chancellor, guess what? She probably, when she made that order, all of it probably didn't go with her. Some of it actually probably went to the school. And she probably divided the portions up. I ain't saying she divided it equally. But to cover up, you do got to show the school something. So she put it there. Now, her problem was not being able to cover up correctly because she couldn't show all the usage of the situation, unless she was right now spoiled on me or something, man. I don't know what her note said. And I, probably she kept the log too, man, to maybe make sure, you know, she did it right. But you know, they say what's done in the dark, Whew, as rough as it is, that's a hard pill to swallow, man. Yeah. What's done in the dark will come to light, man. Or uh, maybe if she wasn't so greedy, she could have got away with it, man. What about, man, she could have been in cahoots with somebody in accounting. 
They don't do that no more. Well, I guess. Yeah. Schools, everything. Everybody has, where well, there's money, there's an accountant, man, when it comes to a big <laughs> business or organization. I wonder how much you. Come on, cahoots. What you mean in cahoots? Cahoots, you know, it's like, if I get, yo, I'll steal it. And then what, what the money I make off of it, you just fudge the numbers. Fudge it for us. That's a lot of that's a lot, Man, that's you, a lot of cases, bro. You gotta be brave to even Ooh. approach the accountant unless y'all real cool. Yeah. And imagine they be like, no, that ain't a smart idea, because eventually you're gonna get caught. And she decided to do it anyway. They say they they say that, they say that was it was halfway through the school year. When they find out that they was old, they would have had a whole nother hand with no meals. And that would have put them in the more millions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to reread the article nah, for some I, highlights? I, was, I, I can't find a part where they said she was <laughs> She was pulling up in the van. Pull up in the van. Man. They loaded it up for her. Loaded it up. Man. I wonder how many pounds each time that was, though. Like, was this like lugs and lugs and cases and cases of meat? Nah. I mean, I wouldn't question it, especially when you know it's a school and she represents the school. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and this right here, it might have been, it might have been weekly, because I don't think you're allowed to really. I mean, you can refrigerate it, of course, but when you're dealing with kids and parents and stuff, <laughs> who was a normal person who picked it up though? Oh, uh, was she literally the one who ordered and picked it up? I think she was. The, I think she was the one that ordered. Who else looked at these invoices though? She I had to turn these invoices in. Someone had to see these invoices, man. They said the district business manager showed the food service department had to see this annual budget for over two hundred thousand. Man, man, soon they would. Man, if they would have called my phone, if I would have seen, a, you know how you be on the cell phone and that gent come up with, you know, some number like police or something. Or, I would, have, I would have told my grandchildren, well, the gig's up. <laughs> chances, <laughs> chances are she, um, the police didn't call her. No. Nah. Chances are HR and yeah. whoever management was yeah. approached her in her office Whew. after they had sufficient amount of evidence. Yeah. Or chances are, even before then, maybe she was questioned, right? Yeah. Like something don't look right. And she maybe went into panic mode. And maybe kind of laxed off a little bit, you know? But it was too late because once they see that, man, they want to investigate even deeper because... Hold on one second. They want to find that money. This, this, this could be of the Lord. You think this is of the Lord? Is it still running? <laughs>